Adam. There, guys, what do you think of our new house? <laughs> Ruby, what is this? Why is the roof so pointy? Well, it looks cool. Uh, no, it does not. It looks like a weird tower looking thing. Hold up. Does the inside look good at least? Uh, wait, why are there vines everywhere? Uh, wait, what's with all the saplings? What do you mean? We need some plants in here, of course. Yeah, but not this many. The plants are taking up more space than the beds. Looks like a whole jungle in here. You got mad greenery. And wait, guys, I just realized we have neighbors. We should go introduce ourselves to them. Oh, yeah, good idea. I heard it's a family living there. Wait a second. Why does their house look so old and abandoned? And wait, yeah, Ruby, are you sure someone lives there? Well, only one way to find out, right? All right, knock, knock. Anyone home? It's your new neighbors. Uh, hello, is anyone there? Hmm, that's strange. It's, no one's answering the door. Well, I mean, maybe there's no one actually living here. Look, the windows are shattered. We can just go straight through and, here. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think that's a good idea. That's breaking in. No, it's fine. There probably isn't anyone living here. Cam's probably right. The owner's probably just left. And, yeah, but what if they did it? Guys, come on. We can't just break into this random person's house. Oh, Dash, come on. Don't be a baby. Yeah, and plus, look at how abandoned this place is. There can't be no one living here. And, ew, their food. And, ew, what the? Is this rotten cake? There's a mushroom growing out of this one. Oh, Ruby, look. It's your favorite food. What do you mean that's my favorite food? Ugh, this place is gross. Let's see if there's anything upstairs. And, oh, gosh. Wait, you guys really want to go to the upstairs? Guys, we are so breaking in right now. We are going to get in so much trouble if we get caught. Hello? Anyone home? It's not really breaking in if no one lives here. Yeah, but we don't know that. What if someone does live here? We're just exploring, you know, just classify it as that. And oh my gosh. Okay, well, it looks like there's a door over here. Uh, is there anyone here? And uh, this looks like a bedroom. <gasps> Yo, old people bed. I'm going to jump on it. Ooh, guys, look at these vines. I'm going to take these babies home. And wait, what? Do you really need more vines? Yes, okay, okay, let's go. And all right, yeah, finally, let's just get out of here now that you got your vines and uh, you guys have finished exploring the house. Let's just go back to our house. Uh, come on, you guys can't be done yet. We haven't explored it all. There has to be something here. Can't make them come back later. Well, what if, you know, the house crumbles later? It is very old. And no, guys, come on. Let's just get out of here. This house is so sketchy and probably dangerous and not safe. And uh, yeah, come on. Let's just go back to our house. Uh, just give me one second. I need to grab this skull before we leave. And uh, guys, what is that? And wait, what's what? There's a trap door here. And wait, what? A trap door? And oh, wait, it looks like there's another floor to the house. Uh, wait, guys, this looks like a basement. It's kind of sketchy looking. Um, this is kind of scary. Hey, yeah, that's why we should go explore it. Come on. And uh, no, come on, Kim. Let's go back. I don't want to go in the basement of some random Shh. house and... Uh, wait, what is that? Like, run, get out, go, go, go! Go, 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 go. Oh, why did No, they know we're here! What is that? Run! <laughs> what was that? And oh my gosh, guys, I think that's Weird Strength's mom! Uh, guys, I knew it, there was people living there. Uh, what do we do? They're gonna come attack us! And, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is really bad. Guys, uh, we have to break this house and move somewhere. Move? We don't want to move, we just moved here. Well, yeah, but this house doesn't even look good anyways. Come on, guys, let's just break it down. We have to move somewhere far away from here. We gotta get out of this neighborhood. That's just stop. Instead of breaking it, why don't we just upgrade the house? And wait, upgrade the house? I guess we could do that, but we're gonna have to make a lot of upgrades. This house is uh, not good enough to stop those guys. Uh, yeah, I think the first upgrade we need to do is definitely get rid of all these plants. And yeah, we gotta clean all this stuff up. This is actually horrible. And why are there vines on our walls? I still don't get that. No, stop. But Don't worry. Uh, once we finish upgrading, we'll make a greenhouse so you can put all your plants in there. We better. Okay, so what do we do first? Okay, well, first, let's just clean up the inside because there is just a lot of mess everywhere. So there we go. And now we got to build some actual defenses to stop those guys. So, uh, hmm, what could we do? With <gasps> Wait, guys, what if we build, like, a fence around the entire house out of iron bars? That way, they're not going to be able to get over it. Oh, yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. Uh, what do we make the fence out of? Well, here, let me just grab some iron bars. And <gasps> Wait, guys, why don't we use real? Enforced iron bars and then we can just like make an entire wall going around the entire house and we gotta make sure to make it like super tall so that they can't just jump over it Ooh, i think that'll look scary too so maybe they just won't come over oh yeah and this is unbreakable so they can't even break in yeah it's gonna be super tough to get through this and wait a minute guys if they try climbing over the wall we can grab some of these cobwebs and just place them over here on top so that they can't even climb over it it's gonna be so op uh, yeah but don't you think we're kind of making this look like a prison and yeah yeah prisons are super safe and secure so if our house looks like a prison, then that means our house is going to be super safe and secure. That's what we need, right? Well, I don't think prisons are built to keep you know, people out. They're built to keep people in. What? Same thing. Well, we're definitely gonna have to upgrade these cobwebs or something, because look, you could break these with your sword. Uh, what about some reinforced cobwebs? And, wait, what? Reinforced cobweb? That's a thing? Whoa, what the? Yeah, now this is starting to look like a prison. Okay, okay. I guess we can use some of these reinforced cobwebs here. I guess let's just go and have these go all the way around the house. It's actually looking sick. And here, guys, what we can also do is grab a wand. So let me just run the command slash slash wand. Boom. And then we can just select this side of the wall. Look this way and then run the command 
comment slash slash stack. Boom, there we go, instant wall. And here, guys, we can just use this to like really quickly build a wall around our house. That looks awesome. I'll do this side. All right, sounds good. Here, I'm gonna do this side over here. And whoa, okay, we're making this side go really long. Let's just extend this a little bit. There we go. And okay, I think this should be far enough. Let's just have it go over here. And there we go. The wall is uh, pretty much complete. Hold on, we gotta cut off these excess bits. Uh, yeah, this wall looks nice, but we're gonna need some offense or something. Plus, they could just dig under it. Hmm, yeah, true, you're right. We need to stop them from even getting close to the wall. What could we we build <gasps> wait guys what if we build an automatic arrow shooter with like dispensers and stuff Ooh, that sounds good but where are we gonna build it over here and uh hmm, we can't build it on top of the wall because then they can just like go inside of the dispensers and take out all of the arrows what if we build it on top of the roof yeah this could work uh, are you sure the arrows are gonna reach all the way out here and yeah yeah it should work dispensers are pretty strong but at uh, the first we're probably gonna have to get rid of this like uh tilted roof because i don't think we can really fit dispensers on here let's just uh break all of this what i love my roof yeah yeah, no, this roof is very, uh, not it. And, yeah, I don't know why you made it so pointy, Ruby. It was fancy. It literally looked like a weird skyscraper-looking thing, but here, let me just set all of this to air. Boom, there we go. And, all right, what I was thinking is we can grab some dispensers, and we can just have a bunch of dispensers on our roof just like this. And, hold on, we should probably test this out. Let's see if the arrows can actually go far enough. I was thinking a bit taller than that. And, oh, wait, you wanted to build it up there? Um, well, here, let's test out down here to see if this works. Let me just grab a lever, and let's... Let's try this out. Here we go. And okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to move it a bit up. Yeah, I think Cam is right. All right, well, what we could do is just put down all of our dispensers right over here like this. And then let's fill up these with arrows. And here, let's test that. Will this go far enough? And yes, okay, that works perfectly. It goes right in front of the wall. Yeah, that's the perfect distance. But wait, instead of uh, just regular arrows, why don't we step it up a notch and do some fire arrows? And, <gasps> whoa, fire arrows? Okay, wait, that actually could be a really cool idea. Here, what we could do is just like uh, have some lava buckets and have those go right over here in front of the droppers like that. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. I need to have them go over here like that. There we go. And then, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, guys, we need to build, like, a little collection wait, system house, down here. House. Oh, no, it's gonna burn the house. Guys, 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 quick, come on. We have to build, like, a little gutter down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, 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 dude, what the heck? You're burning everything. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, hold on. Uh, can I use sponges on lava? Come on, come on. This has to work. And no, you can't use sponges on lava. Oh, gosh. I got it, I got it, I got it. Come on, come on. And, oh. Wait, did you use a sponge on the lava there? Uh, no, I drank it. And, what the? Uh, okay, but uh, anyways, here, I think what we should do is build a little gutter area for the lava first and then put the lava down. I think that'd be a better idea. That was what I was doing before you got all trigger finger and started placing lava down. Dude, I wanted to see what it would look like, but uh, it's fine. You know, the house didn't burn down. We're all good. So here, now that we got this little gutter area here, let's just extend the walls a little bit just to make sure that none of the lava flows out. And okay, I think this should be good. Uh, let's just put another block there and here in the corners. Wait, 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 wait. Are you putting the lava down there? Uh, put it up top so it covers the dispensers and makes it look cool. We can just put it down here. This works fine. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't look as cool. And plus, it overflows just like that. And, oh, wait, it's spilling. Uh, wait, can you drink the lava again? Uh, yeah. There we go. Dash, you have to stop doing that. You're out of control. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. I'll be more careful here. We can put all of the lava down over here and this should work, right? And yes, let's go. The lava isn't spilling and now we have to test this out. Let's see. Are there any arrows in here? Yep, there is. Let's try activating this dispenser here we go and yo check it out look we got a fire arrow right over here in front of the wall this is actually perfect that's awesome but that's only one arrow oh yeah that's an easy fix we just gotta put some redstone back here and then we should make a switch where if we flick it it can toggle on and on and then it like you know it just goes in a circle it like loops and it says a bunch of arrows and it's very complicated cam slow down slow down i don't get it and wait, wait, wait no hold on hold on i think i get what he means okay what we need to do is grab some repeaters and some redstone and let's just put these repeaters and redstone all across over here. Let's extend this platform over here a little bit, and pretty much what we need to do is just uh, connect all of these dispensers up with some redstone, and then right over here, we can build a little redstone timer, so let's just have this thingy going like that, and then we can activate this. Boom! And look at that. Now we have, like, an infinite redstone signal where, if we connect it to the dispensers, it's just gonna keep rapid firing them. Let's go! Check it out! Oh, I actually do get it! And we can make it toggle wall just by doing something like this, and there we go! And ooh, alright, alright, it is looking nice. Now all we have to do to turn it on is just activate this piston over here and boom it is all activated but here what we should do next is just fill up all of these dispensers with some arrows and wait guys instead of using normal arrows why don't we use some poison arrows hold on hold on wait can we get poison arrows and yes we can this is gonna be op because whoever it hits gets poisoned and lit on fire so it's gonna be like double the damage that weird family is not going anywhere near us <laughs> 
poison arrows. <laughs> Rookie, uh, check this out. And, oh, wait, wait, hold on. What in the world is this? Arrow of thundering. Wait, oh, wait. Does this strike lightning? Uh, yeah, of course it does. Wait, Dash, you should test it out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we have to test that out. Okay, uh, Kim, try activating it. I'm gonna try spawning some pigs over here. Uh, let's see if this actually works. Oh, yeah, give me one second. I gotta fill up all the dispensers, so this looks awesome. And Okay, okay, here. I spawned a bunch of pigs over here, so you have a lot of targets, and whenever you're ready, flick the lever, and it just starts striking lightning on all of the pigs. I'm gonna get some fried pork after this. Let's go. All right, three, two, one. Here they come. And here we go. Whoa, what the? Oh my gosh. Uh, wait, it just turned all of the pigs into zombie pigmen. I forgot that lightning does that, but whoa, that is OP. Oh my gosh, look at this too. And it, it, it even put fire on the ground because of the lightning. This looks awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the ultimate arrow shooting machine right over here. But what we need to do now is make it so that we can actually activate it from inside of the house. So here's what I was thinking. We could grab some redstone torches and a lever, and then we could put down a redstone torch over here and here. What we need to do is just have like a stack of redstone torches going like this all the way down to the house. And pretty much what this will do is make it so that whenever we flick this lever over here, it'll let us control this piston up here. So uh, yeah, we just have to make this redstone torch stack go all the way down to the house. Um, wait, you guys are doing this right in the middle of the house. And yeah, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just like a little switch. Uh, it's right next to your guys' bed and not mine. So that's pretty cool. I don't want a weapon switch right next to my bed. Well, what do you mean? You could be lazy. You could just sit in bed, then flip the lever, and then you're, you know, defended. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's even better than, like, if it was on the other side of the room. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing in case I'm asleep when they get here. And yeah, yeah, exactly. So, here, what we can do now is just put down this lever right over here, and now, when we flick this lever, it should start shooting the arrows. Uh, wait, hold on. Why isn't it working? I need to check something. Oh, because I broke the block because it was loud. Oh, oh, fair enough. But now, if we put this block back over here and then go down over here and flick this lever, it should start shooting the arrows, and here we go. Let's go! That is actually so awesome. Oh my gosh, it's a waterfall of arrows. Whoa, yeah, that is crazy, but here, we should probably turn it off for now. We don't want to waste all of our arrows, but anyways, actually, this gives me another idea. What I was thinking is, why don't we build three more of these machines pointing at each direction of our house so that all sides of our house are defended? Wait, that's such a good idea. That's an excellent idea, and we can just copy and paste this on all the sides. And yup, exactly, that's what I was thinking. Here, we can select this, so let me go in this corner over here and select position one, boom, and then let me go in this corner and select position two just like that and here now let me go up in the middle over here and run the command slash slash copy and then let's go over here on the other side and run the command slash slash rotate and then slash slash paste and boom there we go we've got a duplicate of the machine right over here and here now i need to build one on this side and that side as well so here i'll do this let me just slash slash rotate this again and then let me slash slash paste boom there we go although oh wait hold on this one's facing the wrong way let me undo that this one needs to go over here and then i need to rotate that one more time and then put the last one right over here. There we go. Now we have one pointing at each direction of the house. It's actually looking crazy. Yep, and we could just put repeaters here so this all works in one lever. This is gonna be insane. Wait, that's crazy. Yeah, let's just connect all of these up together really quick. Uh, I think this one should be connected. Actually, hold on. I think we have to make it connect in the middle. So like this, uh, there we go. Go. I think this should work better. And wait, hold on. Is this one over here connected? Uh, they all should be connected right about now. There we go. And okay, okay, awesome. Well, here now, let me go down over here and flick the lever in here. Let's see. Moment of truth. Is it gonna work? Here we go. And oh my gosh, that is working so perfectly. Although, although, guys, uh, there's a lot of arrows. Hold on, it's getting kind of laggy. We should probably go turn this off. Yeah, don't waste all of our arrows. Oh my gosh, it's so laggy. Oh my gosh. And yeah, that was very OP. But wait, hold on. How many arrows do we have left? And, oh wait, we still got plenty. Okay, we should have plenty for if the weird strict family tries to invade into our house. Anyways, now that we got these arrow shooters done. What do we need to build next? Because, like, what if they're wearing helmets and then the arrows just, like, bounce on their helmets and then, like, deflect off and, like, ricochet? I don't think that would happen, but, hmm, you're right. We should build something else. What about something with TNT? And, ooh, wait a minute. That could actually be pretty cool, but, uh, what with TNT? Let me see. Well, what, what could we build and... <gasps> Wait, guys, I may have just gotten a really good idea. What if we build a flying machine that just, like, flies over their house and shoots TNT everywhere? We should do that. That actually sounds incredible. Oh, hold on. I'm making the platform right now. Awesome. Let's go. Okay, yeah. We should build it up, up here again uh, because we have a lot of space up here. This could be, like, our defenses area. And here, let me grab some stairs. And here, let's just build the TNT launching flying machine uh, missile things up over here. So we can, like, have a little platform over here above all of the arrow shooters. So let's just have a little platform going up like this looking good. Let's make this area a little bit bigger as well. Already on it, and there we go. And, oh, nice, nice, nice. But here, let's clear out this area for the staircase. And all right, here we can build the, the, the flying machines that drop TNT. So, uh, 
Uh, anyone know how to build a flying machine? No, I don't know how to do that. Uh, uh, you're the redstone guy. I just know how to build. And, uh, okay, I guess I could do it. I'm pretty sure what we need are some slime blocks, uh, some pistons. Ooh, we're definitely going to need some TNT. Some observers, definitely. And I think we also need some minecarts and rails. Let me try this out. All right, well, you build it, and then I'll watch and then try and replicate it. And uh, Okay, okay, yeah, here. I'll build one over here, and then you guys uh, copy me. You guys build, like, two more over there. Uh, I'll build mine in this corner over here. All right, I'll watch you first. And, okay, I'm pretty sure the first thing we have to do is like build a slime block thingy like this okay and then i'm pretty sure we have to put these rails over here like that and then we also have to put some slime blocks down over here like this uh just like in this shape make sure to copy this exact shape okay okay or actually hold on we have to adjust this a little bit like that and then we need some more slime blocks over here do you understand what he's doing cam i i'm i'm, I'm absolutely clueless and, and no guys guys trust me it's gonna work i'm i'm pretty sure of the help Fully. And then what we need to do is put this minecart down over here. And then we have to put our TNT down over here. And okay, now the machine is primed. All we have to do is like put down the pistons and stuff. Uh, wait, wouldn't this uh, blow up uh, under here first whenever it starts? Oh, wait a second. Actually, yeah, you're right. We might want to move this. Uh, wait, where should we move it to? Um, let's just move it in front of the wall so it doesn't hit the house. And oh, yeah, I guess we can do that. Here, let me grab a wand and let me just select all of this. Boom. And then here, I'm just going to slash slash move uh, like 30 or there we go. Is this far enough? And Oh, yeah. Okay. That should definitely be far enough. Oh, awesome. Uh, the minecart got left behind. And oh, yeah. Hold on. Wait. I need to repair some of this stuff. Let me put the minecart back over there. Boom. All right. And now we can continue uh, building this here. We should probably extend the platform as well. Let me select the platform like this. And let me run the command slash slash stack 30. And okay. There we go. Now the platform is uh, far enough. Oh, yeah. We could use this platform for like maintenance and launching it. And yep. But anyways, the next thing we need to do is put down an observer over here like this. And okay. There we go. I think everything is working. Ooh, wait, this is looking pretty cool. Yep, the next thing we need to do is put a sticky piston over here and then a slime block and then an observer over here. And then we have to put a sticky piston down over here like this. Oh, hold on, wait, let me move this over here. There we go. Uh, I'm so clueless right now. But anyways, it should be done as soon as we put a block in front of this observer over here. It should start heading forward and just like duplicating the TNT. Uh, should we test it out? Um, Yeah, I think we should. And all right, well, here, all we have to do is just put a block over here and check it. Oh, and it's duplicating the TNT. And, oh, gosh, uh, guys, it is heading right for their house. Wait, this looks awesome. But wait, we can't. they can't know that we're attacking them yet. And oh, gosh, oh, gosh, yeah, we should probably stop this. We don't want to anger them too early. Oh, uh, yeah, this thing looks crazy. But uh, I think we should just have one. This looks so complicated. Yeah, it's not sitting in my brain. And okay, yeah, I guess we can only have one of these machines. But here, if we're only going to have one, we should probably move this uh, platform thing to the middle. So let me just select this and then run the command slash slash move like that. Boom, there we go. That's uh, about it. In the middle. Yeah, that's close enough. And here, I'll just build another one over here really quick. All right. Should I um destroy the evidence over here? And oh, oh, yeah, de uh, definitely destroy that. We do not want Weird Strict family up seeing that and getting mad at us too early. But here, let me just finish uh, building this one over here. And boom, there we go. All right, the TNT duper is complete. As soon as we place a block next to this observer, it should start going. So here, let me place a little staircase down over here for us whenever we want to activate it. So just like this. There we go. Yeah, that should be good. And boom, there we go. That is the TNT duper. Uh, yeah, this thing's pretty nice, but uh, we need something else. And yeah, you're right. We still need more stuff. Hmm. Anyone got any ideas? Oh, what if we do archery towers? And oh, wait, archery towers could be really good. We could have one in each corner of our base. Oh, yeah. Uh, I definitely want an archery tower hmm, on this side. And okay, okay. I'm building mine over here on this side. I guess I can do the back, but can we connect them later? And oh, yeah, yeah. We can connect all of them and it should look super cool. But here, what we need to do is grab some blocks to build it out of. I'm going to build mine out of some purple concrete this should be pretty sick and here i was gonna build mine uh one two three four five six seven eight blocks uh by eight blocks yeah it's gonna be pretty big well i'm going to make mine circular and it's going to go all the way up to heaven and whoa wait you're making your circular okay that looks pretty crazy i'm just gonna make mine a square so here let me just slash slash stack it up really quick i'm gonna make it uh 30 blocks tall yeah there we go that should be pretty tall whoa this thing looks huge 30 blocks tall i'll make mine that tall too awesome awesome and here let me grab some slabs over here for the top and Oh, wait, there's some purple slabs. I'm going to use these. These things look pretty crazy in here. I'm just going to put these down all over the floor over here like this. And oh, gosh, wait, it's going to take like a year to get up to the top of this archery tower if we're just using a ladder. Yeah, that's true. Wait, instead of using like ladders and, you know, stairs, we make it more fun and we use uh, slime block launchers. And, wait, <gasps> slime block launchers? Okay, wait, that actually could be a really good idea. I, I guess let me grab some parts from the TNT duper really quick in here. Let me test this out. Is this going to work here? Let me just put down a piston over here and a lever and a slime block. And all right, let's see. Is this going to work? Is this going to be able to launch us over? And, 
Oh, uh, okay, that kind of works, but it didn't really launch us high enough. Hang on, I want to see what it looks like, too, so I can build it. And yeah, yeah, look, we can give ourselves, like, a little boost, but that's not going to be high enough to get to the top of the tower. Yeah, this is nowhere near enough. What about, like, a chain of them that uh, just bounces us all the way up to the top? And, <gasps> wait a minute, that could be good. Uh, let me grab some pressure plates. Maybe we could do it, like, where when you land on one, it'll activate the next one. And, yeah, it's just going to, like, keep going on an infinite loop. So here, let's just have these go, like this there we go and then we can have a pressure plate over there or right, wait wait actually what we have to do is move the pressure plate up one block since the slime block's gonna be here and oh we should probably replace the purple concrete with some obsidian so that it doesn't move wait 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 wait. Uh, you, you gotta do that over here too and oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah you're right we have to make all these blocks obsidian all right but here yeah let's try this out try jumping on that and let's see is this gonna work and oh no that didn't work uh, i think we need some redstone right here uh, let's see if this works and oh yeah, yeah let's see that and oh, wait okay that worked pretty good uh the idea's got some potential let's Let's try this again. Here, let me give this a go. Let me just try landing here. And <gasps> yo, did you see that? That worked perfectly. Although I'm pretty sure this is not going to be faster than a ladder. It's pretty hard to get right. And hmm, yeah, you're right. Okay, well, what are we going to do? We can't just have a ladder because then it's going to take us like a year to get up. Wait, guys, why don't we use some fans? And wait, fans? <gasps> wait a minute. Can we use these to like to blow ourselves up to the top of the tower? Hold on, hold on. Let me try this out. And <gasps> whoa, wait, this looks sick. Okay, okay. Uh, this has some potential. It doesn't really boost you that high, but hold on. What we could do is grab a fan and then we can just put another one over here like this and let me just power this one and look now you can go like from one fan to the next fan and whoa okay wait this could actually work wait these are so cool yeah let's move it a bit higher though so it like actually like works good and yeah look wait what we could do is just have like a row of fans going like this and i'm pretty sure this should work we can just like go on the first fan and that'll boost us up here and then that'll boost us up here to the next fan and okay yeah this should work perfectly all right well i'm gonna grab these and i'm gonna head over back to my tower and put them up me too bye all right all right sounds good here i'm just gonna finish putting all of my fans down over here like this and okay i think this should work let me give this a go in fact let me move this fan a little bit lower so i can just like walk onto the floor and boom there we go check out it's like an elevator that only goes up that's actually pretty sick yeah this is sick i just finished mine on my tower let's go but anyways now that we actually have a way to get up on the towers we gotta put down our weapons and stuff because that's like what an archery tower is all about so here let me grab a chest and let's see what type of bows are there and oh Whoa, okay, there's a lot of bows. Oh, emerald bow? What the? Wait, what's the best type of bow that we can use? And wait, hold on, Ruby. There's one, like, specifically made for you. It's called the Ruby Lucky Bow. Wait, that sounds perfect for me. And whoa, wait, there's so many Lucky Bows. There's, like, the normal Lucky Bow, the Chroma Lucky Bow. Okay, hold on, hold on. I want to test out all of these. Let me go over here and uh, test out the Chroma Lucky Bow. Let's see, how much damage does this do? Let me spawn in a pig. All right, Mr. Pig, you're going to be here for testing purposes. And all right, let's see, how much damage does the Chroma Lucky Bow do? And wait. What? It, it didn't even shoot an arrow there. Uh, what? Is this bow broken or something? Uh, maybe you need to get arrows? Uh, wait, what? No, it's working now, and I don't have any arrows in my inventory. Hold on. Let me try this one more time, and what? Does the bow just not like pigs? Oh, there we go. Now it works. Although, wait, what? The, the arrow just deflected from the pig. Okay, this bow is uh, kind of bad. Uh, let me try the normal lucky bow. Let's see if this is any better. Let me spawn in a pig, and here we go. And, okay, this one's the... Whoa, wait! It just shot a fireball! <gasps> Whoa, I'm using this. It's yellow as well. It's totally my bow. I'm I'm pretty sure the lucky bow does like a random drop each time and whoa wait uh it just what in the world happened it spawned in a charged creeper and it also struck it with lightning and turned the pig into a zombie pig what in the world was that uh, i don't know that was a lot of words from you just now hold on i'm gonna see what other abilities this bow has this bow has been pretty crazy so far let me just keep shooting it on this pig over here come on in. oh that's another fireball and whoa combo okay I, I think that's enough testing i'm definitely gonna put this bow in my chest well i'm going to add a little bit of decoration to my tower and make it look pretty nice and all right all right sounds good here i'm just gonna have all my bows and arrows and they're looking good and all right i think my archer tower should be done it whoa wait ruby i think you took your fans a little bit too high Hello little bit too high but hey it's it's working and yeah this looks like it's working pretty well and look you can like kind of even get down from here as well let's go well i was thinking that i could put down an anvil and use it with the gravity gun and wait what? whoa the gravity gun uh okay that's interesting and wait are you gonna use that to like hit the weird strict family well i could just launch it like this and, whoa okay that's gotta hurt yeah wait how much do those things weigh i don't know but i think it weighs enough to hurt and uh yeah definitely okay well uh, you got your anvil cannon area over here I got my lucky uh, bow thingy over here. And whoa, what the? Cam, you're building like a whole wizard tower here. What the? Yeah, check it out. I'm a wizard, boy. And, whoa, what the? You got like a whole staff and everything? Yeah, check it out. And, whoa, what the? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you got your wizard tower. And I guess I'm the only normal archer over here. But uh, 
Uh, anyways, I think the Archer Towers are done. This looks sick. Uh, wait, are you kidding me? Yours is done? I feel like you need to add a little bit more of decor to it. What? Who needs decor? As long as it's functional and I can uh, stand up here and shoot the Weird Strict family with my bow, then it's good enough. Yeah, Cam, as long as it works, it doesn't need to look good. Look at my anvils. They look fine. And, whoa, wait. Okay, yeah, you just have like a whole stockpile of anvils over here. Okay, well, uh, I guess since the Archer Towers are done and, and the Wizard Tower, what do we need to build next? Well, if we're going to be in the Archer Towers, we're going to need something to protect us down here. Here. And, hmm, yeah, you're right, you're right. We have a lot of open space down here where the Weird Strict family can just, like, throw an ender pearl across the wall or something and get in. So, oh, wait, guys, what if we hire some guards? Uh, hire? I, I don't have any cash. He means build, silly. Oh, how are we supposed to build people? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean build, guys. I, I, meant, I meant spawn them in. What we can do is uh, go into the spawn eggs category and, oh, wait, what if we spawn in? Uh, let's see, let's see. What type of guards can we spawn? Ooh, what about a polar bear? I want to have a polar bear guard. I don't think they're that good as guards. He's too cute and cuddly. We can't make him fight the strict family. And guys, look, check it out. I picked him up. Oh, he's so cute. How are you holding that? That's gotta be heavy. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just really buff, but, hmm, yeah, well, if we can't use a polar bear, then do you guys have any better ideas? Wait, guys, what about a snowman? And, oh, wait, a snowman could work. <gasps> wait, hold on. We need to test out how much damage this guy does. Let me grab a, a zombie spawn egg really quick, and, all right, Mr. Snowman, we gotta put you to the test here. Uh, try fighting this guy, and, oh, the, wait, hold on. The zombie village is on fire. Okay, this isn't really a fair fight, but, uh, Wait, is the snow golem even doing any damage to it? I I, I think it's just burning. Uh, yeah, wait, it's not even burning anymore now that it's under the sun. Oh, oh there we go. Then now they're fighting. And oh, oh, all right. Well, uh, here, let's see who wins. This is a very slow fight. And yeah, wait, I don't think the snow golem does a lot of damage. Uh, come on, snow golem, you, you wanna you wanna pick up the pace? You know, maybe throw some frozen ice balls. Uh, I think that could do more damage. Is there any way we can upgrade him to make him better? And oh my gosh, yeah, this is taking an awfully long time. And what? <laughs> the snow golem just lost. What the heck? Uh, are you serious? Uh, is there nothing? stronger than and that? Hold on. There's gotta be some other defense that we could use stronger than that. Let me search snow and... <gasps> Wait a minute, guys. What about a mutant snow golem? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try spawning this guy in and... Whoa! Check it out! This guy looks so much better than the old one. But will he protect us? Won't he just fight us? No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure he's friendly. Here, let me try spawning in a zombie villager. I'm just gonna spawn him in over here and check it out. He's going in for the fight. Whoa! He just threw a whole ice block at him! Whoa, he's so strong! Oh my gosh. He just three shot at him. That was a lot quicker than the last snow golem. Him. Three shots for a zombie is kind of bad, and who knows how much health the weird strict family has. And, hmm, yeah, that is a good point, but I guess what we could do is just, like, spawn in a bunch of them, you know? Once we have enough, all of their damage combined should add up to, like, a lot of damage. Wait, this area looks like a winter wonderland. And, yeah, because of all this snow. You know what? Hold on. Maybe we should spawn in a few more polar bears. Maybe these guys could come in clutch later. Uh, yeah, they could boost our army's morale. Uh, yeah, exactly. All right, now let's see how fast they can take out one of these zombie villagers. I'm just gonna spawn one right over here. Here we go. Whoa, wait, they're all kicking up. Oh, my. Oh my gosh! Wait, that's so cool! That was like a one shot since they all threw their ice balls at once. Oh yeah, that way if anyone gets in here, they just get destroyed. Yep, and oh, what the? Wait, who put a Christmas tree here? I did, isn't it cute? I guess so. Whoa, what the? Did you just like steal half of it? I stole it. Stop stealing Christmas! He's like the Grinch. And oh, what the? Okay, uh, well, anyways, now that we have these guards here, what do we need to build next? Hmm, let's see. We've got a lot of defenses and like attacks on the inside of our base, but we don't really have anything on the outside. They can kind of just like walk in. I think we should build some stuff around our base to make sure that they can't even like get in. Ooh, like another wall? And hmm, another wall could work, but that's kind of just like slowing them down. We need to build something that could like actually stop them. Maybe something in the ground then instead of on the ground. Like a pit! Sorry, I was at the top. And, wait, what, a pit? Hold on, that could work. We could have like a pit filled with, uh, filled with what? What could we fill it with? Um, goo. Wait, goo? What type of goo? Wait, guys, what about acid? Ah, whoa, ah, whoa, whoa, ah, what the? Ah, that just ah, spilled ah, on the floor ah, like that. Ah, wait, it gave me a, a penetration. What is that? Uh, I have no clue, but that cannot be good. Let's just get rid of that. And, wait, wait, hold on. Let's just sit out on a zombie. Can you uh, pour some in this hole over here? Let's see. Yes. I'll put that right here, right here, and here. And all right, all right, let's see how much damage this does. And oh, okay, wait, that looks like it's doing pretty good. Let's see how quickly it takes it out. And whoa, okay, it, it's doing kind of good. It looks like the zombie can't escape for some reason. Oh, look, and it took it out. And yeah, that was all right. It was kind of slow, though. Hold on, let's see. Are there any other types of liquids that we could use? And wait, hold on, what is this one? It's called char acid. It says refined acid. Hold on, wait, we should test out this one. Ooh, okay, just drain this and then put the other one in. Yeah, wait, maybe this one does more damage or something. And whoa, okay, this one's certainly looks up the scarier. I guess let's try dropping another zombie in here. Here we go, and okay, it, it, it's still kind of slow. Let's see, is it, is it any faster? Uh, come on, zombie. Uh, no, yeah, they, they're still pretty slow. Yeah, but it did go faster. Well, what about something like a better color, like mog lava? Look at this. Uh, well, mog lava? What in the world is that? Uh, I 
I have no clue, but we're going to find out. And uh, I seen that it's yellow, so that's not yellow. Look at this bucket. That's literally yellow. And oh, wait, I guess the bucket kind of scammed you. The liquid is kind of like orange, but here, let's try putting in a zombie. Here we go. And okay, this kind of slow. Oh, wait, actually, no, it's not. That was pretty fast. You think we can mix them? And wait, 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 that's actually a good idea. Hold on. Let me try pouring some of the acid over here. And oh, no, wait. Okay, it looks like it combines into granite. That's so weird. Yeah, I think it's better if we just do the Moglafa. And uh, yeah, okay. Well, the first thing we need to do is actually clear out a pit. So let me grab a wand really quick in here. We can just clear it out like really close to our house. So let me just select this position and let me go all the way over here in this corner. And let me set this to air. Boom. There we go. And ooh, okay. There's a pretty wide pit. Yeah, now you just got to make it deeper. Yep. So here, let me just slash slash stack this up 30 times. Boom. There we go. I think that should be deep enough. And now we just got to put all of that mog lava stuff at the bottom. Oh, yeah. No problem. It said it's like water. So we could just like do some of like this. And oh, yeah. There it goes. And, oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. It like combines and spreads super easily. Perfect. Let's go. They're never going to see this coming. Yep. But wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, they are. They can literally look through the uh, pit. What are you talking about? Oh, wait. How are we supposed to make this a surprise? And hold on. That's a good point. Actually, wait. I'm pretty sure there's something we could use. There's this one item called the grass covering. And pretty much we can just like put it over here. And it just looks like normal grass. But if you walk over it, you fall right through. It is pretty awesome. Whoa, it's super well, cool. Let's put this down real fast. Yeah, yeah, here. Let's just put this down all the way around the entire pit. We got to make sure to cover all of it. So here, let's just have like an entire row of it going like this. And let me select this position. And then let me select this position. And then let me run the command slash slash stack uh, four. There we go. And all right, perfect. I think it should all be covered up with some of this grass covering stuff. Let's go. Whoa, it's so hidden. Yeah, how are we supposed to tell what's what? And oh, wait. Yeah, that's a good point. We could accidentally fall inside of the trap. I don't even know where it is. Oh, wait, there it is. Hold on. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to need some sort of way for us to tell which one's fake and which one's real and oh wait a minute we could use bone meal or wait we could just crouch like i'm on it right now and wait what you don't fall through if you're crouching and whoa okay that's good to know well don't jump on it i need to test it out and okay it looks like it's uh holding up pretty well so far it hasn't fallen through but yeah we can just leave that there and then yeah we could also put like some bone meal around it just so that we know where the trap actually is Dude, these plants look so good they're tactical not for decoration all right all right well anyways now that we got the pit done i feel like there's still a few more things we could do outside over here i was thinking what if we set up some tnt traps so what we could do is grab a pressure plate and a little bit of tnt and we could just go all the way around the area near our house and just put down some tnt and a grass block on top of it and a pressure plate so whenever the weird Strike family walks over it you already know what's gonna happen yeah that is really obvious if i saw a random pressure plate i would not step on it and okay well do you guys have any better ideas uh, yeah what about some secret mines check it out and, wait secret mines hold on let me check this out that's just a grass block whoa wait okay that is not just a grass block it is a dirt mine wait uh, hold on, wait, Ruby, try stepping on that. Wait, step on where? I don't see anything. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, just this, this grass block over here. Wait, what? Is it not working? What? Ow! I, pff, did he just shoot it with an arrow? What was that for? Uh, the testing purposes. Don't worry about it. But, uh, anyways, I, I, I guess now that we know that it works, we should just put a bunch of these all around, uh, like, uh, our the house. Our house? Oh. What about theirs? Do you think that we can do that without getting caught? Oh, yeah, sure. We just got to go a little bit further out. Like, right here is good. I don't think so. I'm way too scared for that. Dash, what do you think? And, hmm, okay, this is going to be a bit risky. I can't, I, I guess you can do that. I'll leave that to you. But I'm just going to put a bunch over here around our house. And, uh, yeah, you can uh, do that. What, we're just going to build, like, a whole line of them? Yeah, they're going to blow up the smithereens when they try and attack us. Okay, okay, we'll see about that. But here, let me just continue putting all of these mines going all the way around this area. We just got to have them over here and i think i can put a little bit more even let me just put them like a little bit closer together just like that and okay i think this should be enough mines yeah there we go well, wait we shouldn't just have mines what if we have the cage traps and wait cage traps what are those well a cage trap is like a mine but when you walk over it you get put in a cage um dash why don't you walk over and, this wait, well, I, oh, wow. oh, oh i'm glad i didn't walk over that but whoa okay and wait i'm pretty sure these walls are made out of the same stuff our walls are made out of yeah reinforced iron bars okay that means that's gonna be super hard to get out of yeah so we should just put a bunch of these down all right all right well here let me grab some of these cage traps and yeah let's just put a bunch of these like next to the mines yeah that way we can cage them and then eat them for dinner no we're not gonna eat anyone that's gross and okay i think that should be enough cage traps but hold on these cage traps are kind of sticking out compared to the dirt mines you know the dirt mines kind of just blend in with the floor but these ones are like obvious well what if we just cover it all of it with snow and <gasps> whoa okay actually we could do that okay yeah perfect yeah we can just cover it all with snow and since our house has a bunch of snow on 
on it, it'll look like it, it blends right in. All right, so let's do all of this. I'm just gonna put snow all over the floor. And yep, let's just put down a bunch of snow everywhere. Man, it would have been helpful if we could get those snow golems to come help us out. Yeah, but we can't let them out of there. Uh, they might blow up because of the mines. And, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. That would be a little bit too risky. But anyways, let's just continue putting down all of the snow. I'm just gonna keep like randomly putting it down on top of all of these cage traps. Here we go. I think it looks so pretty out here. And yeah, it looks really good. We got like the minefield and the cage trap field. And, yeah, it looks awesome. It's like a cage trap field and a minefield and a snow field at the same time. Exactly. Hopefully no one tries to come make snow angels here because that would not be good. Oh, yeah. I hope not. Yeah, then they would turn into an angel. Yeah, that doesn't seem very fun. But anyways, now that we got the minefield done, let's see. What else do we need to build? Well, we do have a bunch of defenses for our base and stuff, but not much for ourselves. We are just big sacks of meat after all. And, hmm, yeah, you're right. Oh, <gasps> that gives me an idea. Guys, we should build an armory room. I think now's about a good time we do that. And wait, why is the Christmas tree inside of the house now? I guess I got to keep one plant. And all right, all right. Well, anyways, hmm, where should we build this armory room at? <gasps> wait, guys, why don't we build it on top of each one of our archery towers? There should be plenty of room up there. Oh, about that. And, oh, okay, that's not gonna work. All right, well, uh, ooh, what if we build it up over here? Yeah, this could be cool. We can have it be over here with the fire arrow shooters. Yeah. Oh, and we can have the archery towers connect to the center. And, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That could be awesome. All right, well, here, I guess we should build the armory area first, so let me grab some armor stands. Wait, 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 we probably shouldn't put it with the redstone. Up here, we've got a perfectly flat area. And, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we have, like, an entire flat area up here. Okay, yeah, let's just build them up over here. Uh, I guess I'll build my armor area right over here, since this is, like, closest to my archery tower. All right, then I guess I'll put mine towards the back. I'm putting mine over here, just because it's right in the corner of my archery tower. Awesome, sounds good. Here, I'm gonna put mine right in the corner as well. And, anyways, let's see, what type of armor should I grab? There's a lot of different types. Oh, I know exactly which one I'm going for. Uh, this one is super awesome. And wait, which one are you going for? And whoa, wait, this looks pretty cool. Wait, what is this? Is like the gold lucky armor? What? Yeah, yeah it's called lucky armor. And uh, check out the stats. Uh, all right, let me check it out. And whoa, plus 100 armor. Okay, this thing is very OP. Yep, and it gives me speed three, strength, and instant health. Check it out. All right, all right. Well, here, I got to find something just as cool as that. So here, let me see. What are we working with here? And Wait a minute, hold on. What about the Delta armor? Whoa, plus 80 max health? Delta, what does that mean? Can I see? I don't even know, but it looks very OP here. I'm just gonna put it on my armor stand over here and whoa, check that out. This looks crazy. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a combo of food. And wait, what, how? Can I please get the Delta combo? That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, what are you talking about? Okay, uh, here, I guess let me also grab a chest for like my weapons and stuff. So I'll just put that chest down uh, right over here. And ooh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, is there a Delta Sword and... <gasps> Uh, guys, I think I found something very OP. It's called the Delta Sword Mark II. It does 1,500 damage. Look at this thing. It's so thick. What mine is chunkier? And, whoa, what the, what sword did you get? This is the Amethyst Crystal Sword. It's pretty, isn't it? That does look pretty sick. But wait, how much attack damage does it do? That's all that matters. Um, well, let's see. I think it does 14 attack damage. And, oh, okay. I, I, I think mine wins. And, whoa, what is that? Is that a stick? Double sticks? Lightsabers. What the, how much damage do those do? Not that much, but you're gonna go two of them. And, whoa, okay, yeah, those lightsabers do look pretty cool, but anyways, I'm gonna put this inside of my chest over here, and ooh, let's see, what other stuff can I shove in here? And, whoa, wait, there's a Delta bow. This thing looks pretty cool. I've already got my other bow up there, the lucky bow, but I guess I'll grab this as well, and let me also grab some arrows. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of this Delta stuff. It looks pretty OP, and Whoa, what the Delta hoe? What does that do? Uh, the, well, well, it's a hoe. It's it's meant for, like, like, farming and stuff. But actually, I'm not sure why I need this. It does 50 attack damage, though. It's for the Delta combo. And here, let me also shove some arrows in here. And all right, all right. What else? What else do I need? And ooh, wait, what about some emerald apples? Some enchanted emerald apples. All right, let me shove those inside of my gear chest as well. There we go. And what, what was that? It's my fork. And whoa, what the? You can throw that around. That is actually awesome. Whoa, wait, you gotta be careful with that thing. It's like flying around everywhere. Yeah, but isn't it cool? That is pretty sick. But hold on, I need to find something as cool as that. Let me see. What what, what are we working with here? Oh, wait, hold on. I think I found something cool. <gasps> what about the ice ball stuff? Uh, wait, Cam, this kind of like your thing earlier, except instead of like yellow, it's it's blue and it's ice. And wait, whoa, look, I can freeze you. Hey, stop that, but uh, check this and, out. Wait, yeah, quite out. Whoa, what the? Hey, yo, chill, chill, chill. 
what are you doing? I've been training with my wizard tower. Oh, what the? Okay, well, anyways, I'm gonna shove this inside of my chest. I'm just gonna shove six of those in just in case they break. And I still got a bunch of empty chest slots. Let's see, what else could I put in here? Ooh, what about some hamburgers? And what the? Uh, hamburgers? I guess I can put those in. I mean, I am gonna need some food. So uh, there we go. My loot chest is done. Now I just gotta build a bridge connecting my loot to my archer tower. So uh, here, let me do that now. I'll build it out of some of this purple concrete. And here, let me just connect this going all the way like this. There we go. I should probably build like a little bridge to connect it over to the fence so that I can actually get up to the top of the archer tower. There we go. And yeah, okay. I think this bridge should look pretty good. I don't need to make like a huge fancy one like you, Kim. <laughs> you call this a bridge? What is and, this? Dude, it's a bridge. Okay, like I said earlier, as long as it gets the job done, then that's all that matters. And this gets the job done just fine. All right. Well, anyways, my armory area is complete. And mine is too. Yeah, but what do we build next? All right, let's see. Well, we got the archery towers. We got the guards. We got the mines. Uh, let's see. What do we need to build next? Oh, <gasps> guys, we need to build some sort of escape route just in case everything fails. Oh, wait, that's right. What if we need to run away? We can't go to the front. And yeah, yeah, exactly. We need some sort of quick escape route just to get out of here in case everything goes wrong. And I was thinking, what if we build a plane runway? That could be really sick here. Let me grab a plane. Well, what about a bath? And, wait, what? A bath? What in the... Uh, wait, how are you making the... What? You can make the bat fly? What in the world? It's the wizard powers. How the heck do you do that? Wait, hold on. Can I try? Nah, you need years of wizard training for this, bro. And, what? You built your tower like 10 minutes ago. What are you talking about? I've been a wizard my whole life. And, oh, what in the world? Dash, I think we're gonna have to use planes. And Yeah, I think so. All right, well, uh, where should we build the plane runway? Since we have a lot of stuff going on in the front, let's do it towards the back. And, ooh, all right, all right. That could be good. Uh, Here, let me grab some concrete. Let's grab some gray and yellow concrete so that we can have it be like, you know, the runway colors. Uh, looks like you guys need a runway. Too bad I don't need and, one. Oh, I, in the, dude, you're literally flying around in a bathtub. You could not be talking right now. Yeah, and you guys need a runway. Yeah, well, our planes are gonna go faster than you. Uh, are you sure about that? No, I refuse to believe that a bathtub is gonna go faster than a plane. Yeah, but this is a magic bathtub. You know how some wizards and witches have brooms? I, I chose a bathtub. And, oh, wait, what, you can just choose like any object and like make that your flying thingy? Yeah, I know one guy who chose a toilet. And, oh, what the? Okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> But anyways, at the here, Ruby, we got our plates over here. We should probably fuel them up as well. Let me grab a little bit of fuel. Oh, wait, I want to color mine. And Wait, you're going to color yours? And Whoa, okay, that's looking pretty cool. Hold on, I got to color mine after this as well. Let me just finish pouring all of this fuel in. And all right, let me grab a crafting table as well. I need to craft some spray paint. Wait, I have some pink spray paint right here. And what? No, I'm not painting mine pink. I'm going to paint mine purple. The much better color. Um, I don't think so, but okay. Yeah, 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 whatever you say here. Let me just paint this. And boom, there we go. That is looking sick. Yo, Dash, check out my new paint job. I got flames on and it. What the? Oh, did you just lay your bath? What the? How did you paint it? Kim, we're trying to build defenses right now. Can you stop joking around? Hey, wait, hold on. I want to try painting your thing purple. And, uh, well, I can't paint it purple. Uh, only I can change the color. It's magic powers. Oh, uh, okay. But anyways, now that we got the plane runways done, we have the escape route. We have the archery towers, and we've got the mines and guards and everything. Uh, what else do we need to build? Well, we have an escape route now, but if we end up using it, what if we use a self-destruct? And wait a minute. A self-destruct? That could actually be really good because, you know, if we escape the house, then we're not going to need the house. Yeah, that could be useful. Right, and if we're running away and the strict family is here, then we can destroy them too. And, yeah, you're right. Okay, well, uh, how do we build a self-destruct? I'm guessing we're going to need a lot of the red stuff. Oh, I've got an idea. But follow and, me. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, we're going up? What's, what, what are we doing up here? Uh, we are going to make a platform. Uh, okay. Uh, here, Ruby, can you put a bunch of dispensers underneath oh, this? Oh, sure, I can do that. And wait a minute. Minute. Hold on. I think I know where you're going with this. <gasps> Are we gonna have an automatic TNT dispenser shooter? Okay, this is gonna be pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, of course we are. Uh, we just gotta put the dispensers here. Okay, well, here, let me grab a wand really quick. And yeah, let's just set up the entire floor to a bunch of dispensers. This is gonna be crazy. And boom, there we go. That is the last dispenser. And let me just magically fill them all with TNT with my powers and well, done. Uh, how did you do that? What in the world? What? How is he doing all of this? I don't know. But anyways, I, I guess the next thing we need to do is power all of these. So what we could do is grab some redstone. Or in fact, what we could do is just select this position and go all the way over here and select this position and then run the command slash slash set redstone. Boom, there we go. And okay, now we need to put some repeaters in here to make sure everything gets powered. Uh, be careful, don't do anything. And yeah, yeah, be careful, everyone. Uh, we do not want to power this by accident right now, but we 
can literally just have a bunch of repeaters like uh, going randomly to power everything so just have a bunch of repeaters going like this there we go i think this should be enough now all we have to do is connect this to the platform down there and yep you're right and ooh, what we could do is build another one of those redstone torch stacks so here let me grab some redstone torches and some levers but that should be super careful this time because if this goes off everything goes and, off yeah okay we cannot mess this up there's no testing uh we just have to hope that it works first try so here let's just have this go all the way down over here to this platform and ooh, okay yeah this works wait uh can the, you use commands i think you pasted it a bit too far but it didn't break anything so we're fine all right but anyways now we can just put a lever over here and when we flick this lever it should activate the redstone up here at the top so let's see did that work oh wait no it deactivated hold on wait can someone try flicking the lever down there I i'm going down oh, that's a oh, that is way too scary i don't want to do it and oh there we go now the torch turned on and wait can someone turn it off again one more time i'm about to connect the redstone uh, there we go let let me go turn it off. And, okay, yeah, here we go. Moment of truth. Uh, we gotta be super careful now. It is now live and active, so if anyone flicks the lever, all of this TNT is gonna go off, and our entire house is gonna explode. Let me put a sign here. And yeah, but be careful. We cannot flick that lever. Okay, now that we have all of this, wait. We don't even have a way to get up here. And wait a minute. Hold on. Do we actually not have a way to get up here? And Oh, yeah, you're right. Hold on. We have this, like, whole staircase here, but there's no way to get on this platform over here. Yeah, the only way to get up here right now is through the archery towers. And, oh, yeah, we should probably build some sort of ladder here. I guess let's hop inside of the house over here. And Okay, the inside of the house is looking uh, very interesting. I mean, at least it's better than when there were a bunch of vines here. Oh, come on. Don't be mean. Okay, and what we can do here is just uh, put some wood down over here, and we can just build, like, a little ladder going up. Oh, yeah, that actually works pretty well and there we go perfect and uh oh wait hold on guys uh it just turned nighttime i don't think it was nighttime a second ago uh, wait we haven't checked on the weird strict family in a while um something may have gone wrong and oh gosh oh gosh wait hold on hold on are they coming to attack us already and <gasps> Oh, no. Uh, it's weird strict mom right over there. Wait, is she staring at us? And Oh, gosh. Uh, guys, I think they're coming to attack us. And, wait, look. Our minds are working on them. Guys, uh, uh, we better get prepared to the armor. Oh, yeah, you're right. Quick, everyone grab their armor. Go, go, go. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. What do we do? What do we do first? And, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Uh, maybe we should activate the TNT. Which one? There's a lot of TNT. And uh, the one at the front, like the flying machine up here. Let me just grab everything from my chest really quick. And, yes, okay, I've already got some blocks on me here. Let me just pull up over here really quick and activate this. Take that one. Weird strict family and oh gosh uh, guys the whole family has pulled up right now there's literally all three of them right there gosh, i don't think your thing's working very and, well oh gosh oh gosh i forgot they can just go around it but here shoot our bows at them take this come on yeah! and here we go here we go they're about to fall for the trap and oh no uh guys i think the tnt cannon kind of exposed the trap but they still fell in go go and, go, go, wait, go, go. Push. come on come on we have to hit them off with our bows take this let's go we're getting some good hits in wait what about the arrow cannons and oh yeah yeah you're right the arrow cannons quick 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 guys we have to go down all the way down to the house and activate them up oh, there wait oh we have to go down this ladder over here come on i'm about to activate it is everyone ready uh, yeah i'm ready let's do it all right here we go it should be activated now here we go oh my gosh this battery crazy wait guys are trying to break in come on to the archery towers go go quick, go, go. Wait, come on come on here let me just use all of these fans to get up and oh gosh wait the fans got covered in snow from the mutant snow golems but come on and oh hey there mutant snow golem but come on i gotta get to the top oh my gosh i forgot to mine a hole for my bridge now i've got to do it with my hand and oh what the kim what are you doing oh my gosh all right well here i'm just gonna keep using my lucky bow on them come on maybe my lucky bow can do some damage and let's go i think they're taking some damage and oh uh guys i may have just blew a hole for them to get in with my lucky bow oh no wait how could you do that oh no guys they're taking out our guards oh no oh no this isn't good okay maybe i should just switch back to my delta bow yeah i think this does more damage let's go take this wait it looks like your bow's doing a lot of damage keep doing and come it. on come on yeah i think my bow's doing good my bow has a lot of knockback when i hit them so here let me just keep trying to hit them yeah take that get in the corner oh we should have never broken into their house and oh my gosh yeah why did we do that and uh guys i think weird strict mom is coming up my tower oh no oh no they are down here right now i gotta turn off the fence here let me turn off that one and uh i can't really turn off that one. Oh gosh all right i need to evacuate where do i go oh, where is she where is she she's inside of my tower actually wait here i'll try to lure her out and then you hit her with one of your anvils all right uh, here let me turn on this fan again and oh gosh she's bridging up okay okay tell me when tell me when and oh gosh oh gosh she's right here i'm gonna throw one of these ice balls at her and okay run 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 okay that, she's gonna come across this bridge in a second you got you gotta get ready okay no there she is i missed i missed and oh gosh oh gosh ah! oh no oh no i'm getting cornered here take this ice ball and run cam help i'm trying short beam wait did you knock them down and oh my gosh these guys are actually so OP. how much health do they have I don't know. How do they have so I much? Fine. And here, take this, take this, and ow, ow, ow! One of them just got really close to me. Yeah! Did our guards even do anything? I don't even. 
Okay, no, I think our guards got scared. And oh, take this. I just have to keep hitting them with my bow. My bow has a lot of knockback. And wait, did I knock them out of the house? And oh no, they still landed inside. How do we get them out? I don't know. Just keep hitting him with your bow. Come on, come on. Take this. Weird strict people. And oh, uh, Ruby, I may have hit your plane. Oh no. What? How am I supposed to leave? It's fine. It's fine. But wait, hold on. I think I hit them out. Let's go. I hit them out of the walls now. Okay, perfect. Uh, guys, we have some time now. What do we do? We need to formulate a plan. I think we have to go down there and take them out ourselves. Let's go. And, oh, wait, we're going down. All right, come down. I'm going to land inside of the cobwebs and take this. Come on. Wait, you guys are fighting. I'll try throwing some anvils. And yeah, yeah, here. Try throwing some anvils on them right now. There's a good opportunity. So here, come on. I'm just going to keep whacking them with my sword. How are these not dying yet? My sword does 1,500 attack damage. Oh, gosh. Weird strict babies here as well. What the? Why is there a weird strict baby? Oh, my gosh. I, Kim, I, I think we got to get back to the house. I'm running out of food. I got to eat some burgers. Oh, here, take some of these. And whoa, wait. What are these? Star apples? Okay, let me try eating one of these. And whoa, wait. That was OP. All right, all right. We got to run back to the house. Quick, go, go, go. Oh. Oh, wait, we don't have a way in. No, 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 I blew up an entrance over here with my boat. Come on, we just have to go through here and quick to the house. Uh, guys, uh, what's the plan? We need to come up with a plan right now. Oh, gosh, she's breaking in. Okay, guys, we have to meet up and then we'll fight together. Okay, okay, maybe that could work. Maybe if we all fight them at the same time, then we can actually start doing some real damage and like actually taking them out. Oh, I've got an idea. You guys go in with your giant swords and then I'll use my solar beam. And oh, yeah, good idea. And uh, Ruby, you should probably put on armor. I think they broke it, but quick, do you have another set? And uh, that I don't, but oh, wait, Cam, you have a bunch of extra ones. Just think what I cams and okay uh, where are they now uh, they gotta be somewhere around here does anyone see them uh, no I have no clue where they and, are all right let's see they gotta be somewhere around here hey weird strike family where are you uh, guys are right here and wait what they're in our house and oh gosh wait, they're right here quick quick take them out come on come on yes wait I think I got the mom but they're still chasing me solar beam come on come on we gotta take out weird strike dad and weird strike baby where'd they go uh, I think we got them with fall damage and, wait did we actually <gasps> look they're experience is over here. That means we did it. Let's go. Oh my goodness. We're safe now. Uh, finally. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, uh, let's uh, never break into an abandoned house again. Okay, that's a good idea. Hey, but look at on the bright side. You got a brand new house to yourself. What? Is that over there? Wait, guys, I think that's weird strict grandfather. Oh no, oh no. Since when do they have another family member? Oh gosh, everyone back to position. He's running so fast. I don't think we stand a chance even with my wizard powers. Oh my gosh, this guy is trying to uh, guys, our walls and mines are doing literally nothing. What do we do to the planes? I think it's time we flick the lever and get out of here. Oh my gosh, I think you might be right. Okay, well, uh, whoever's last, uh, uh, get ready to flick the lever. Uh, I'm in my plane right now. Oh. Uh, it's me. I'm getting ready. I'm okay, getting ready. Go. Go. All right, all right, I'm taking off. Here we go. And all right, whenever you're ready, flick the lever. Oh, wait, I see it happening. Okay, everyone, we might want to evacuate. Here we go. Oh. My gosh, I just saw everything blow up. Did we get him? Oh my gosh, guys, I think we and, did oh, it. Oh, wait, I'm coming back. I want to see how big the explosion was. Let me just turn my plane. And oh my gosh, he's gone. Let's go. And whoa, look at all that damage. My house. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Well, at least we ended up surviving. Yeah, Ruby, be more careful next time you build a house. Oh, come on. Let's just go somewhere else now. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.